What's up you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Sweet Money Dick. Anyways, y'all, today, beautiful day as usual. And I ain't gonna lie, so far it's been uh, such a beautiful day in the last couple. Um, in the last week or so, it's been great. Um, however, it's kind of chilly. That's why I have my sweater on. It always is. But anyways, if you're new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe. And if you haven't followed your man yet on Instagram, please make sure you do follow your man on Instagram. X underscore sweet man and the sweet man show. Also, make sure you follow your man on sweetie kicks for all your sneakers. You dick. But without further ado, let's get this episode started on deck. You dick? Hi y'all, uh, yo. so y'all know um, the routine. I do have my 2014 RDRS5, you dick? Which I'm gonna be showing you guys how to maintain your sport car or it might be exotic as well. Um, so this is how you properly maintain it. You wanna keep it running and stuff. As you guys know from my last couple videos, my brakes are done, my front brakes, um, the pads are done. The rotors, they say okay, but definitely the pads, they're completely done, so I'm kind of like, breaking on metal which i got the comments from you guys i appreciate it no care um i'm gonna be trading in the car that's why i haven't done anything about the parts as of yet so thanks to y'all for all your comments below and your advice you did but yeah so um there was this question pretty much um in the comment regarding um how you do the top of ori and stuff i'm gonna be showing you guys that um today in this episode you did so make sure y'all stay tuned and uh, hopefully you'll watch the entire video. You dick? I. Yeah, I'm just, yeah. I just want to order. Um, I'd like to come pick up two oil, like a top up oil for Audi RS5 2014. Uh, for a top up, please. Yeah, I'm just gonna order two oil. Uh, do you have any in stock? Yeah, do you have any in stock? It was an Audi what? A 2014 Audi RS5. That's fine. There we go. And what was the part again? I'm sorry, your phone's breaking up. Um, 2 R. Top up R. Jugs of oil? Uh, 2 top up R. I think it's about $13. A liter. Oh, for you want just 2 liters? Uh, yeah, like 2 jugs, like, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Two, two to five liter jumps. No, like these single liter ones, which they are. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. It was probably right now. It'd probably be cheaper to buy a five liter jug. No, a top up, not the. Uh, no, I understand, but yeah. uh, let me just see what I've got on. Here. Hang on. No worries. Okay, five W forty synthetic. I've got synthetic on. It's twenty nine dollars for five liter jug, but let me see what the price of the uh, two liters is. Hang on a second. Check out our Pro Series OE Plus rotors and pads. Not even oil change. We carry Castrol, Mobile, and Oil, and Quaker State Oil. Honestly, I don't think you understand what I'm trying to say. Um, so normally, to get the top of oil is one liter, so which is about thirteen dollars a liter. Uh, you can get out of the dealership, but if he doesn't understand, I'm probably gonna go to the dealership. Archika uh, Garrett is the same price. However, I'm just like uh, seven minutes away from um, the the auto parts store, which is just by my house. So I'm gonna just go there. I I believe I may have an empty container. If I do find it, yeah, I'm gonna use that. If not, um, if he doesn't understand, then it's very tricky. Then you just go to the dealership. Thirty-one sixty-two tax included. How much is a single liter? Uh, thirteen ninety-nine. No, yeah, thirteen ninety-nine. Sorry. Thirteen ninety-nine. Yep. And for two, as you said, it's thirty-one dollars for two. Thirty-one sixty-two. Yep, tax included. Oh, for two. Okay. And you have some in stock, correct? I have it here on my desk. Okay. No worries. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So, thirteen ninety nine. Let's do the math here. I'll put my calculator. So, thirteen ninety nine times two 
so 27.98 so that's correct so far uh, so in Ontario we have 13% taxes so you do that times 1.13 that gives you 31.61 so he said $32 it's supposed to be 31.62 but obviously your machine or whatever it's converted differently um so yeah 3162 all right then so indeed yep he got the right one so i'm gonna go get some and then uh actually i'll probably get just one i think i do have enough i'll probably just get one it might be lower i'll just get one yeah for 3299 so yeah, it's impressive, delicious. YOLO! First off, we're gonna have to take out my 2013 Ford Fusion out of the way to bring out this baby out of your dick. Look at that, so beautiful out here still. Chish, chish! But yeah, let's get this baby out. Um, I'm probably gonna have to wash it. I may have some problem with the brakes, I don't think so. But hey, if for is, let's get on with the video. Right. So you guys, I'm sat in my 2013 Ford Fusion, so I'm gonna give you guys a cold start of a straight pipe 2013 Ford Fusion. If you haven't seen a video regarding my 2013 Fusion, make sure you scroll down or browse from my channel to see um, my straight pipe. Hi. Hey, hey. It's I. You think what I'm saying? It's I. Like, you could see you're the turbo, but hey, EcoBoost, let me say. EcoBoost, not turbo. Um, I guess you can say it's turbo, but hey, you can see you're the spot. Anyways. Let's get on this video. All right, so right now with my 2013, uh, my 2014 Audi RS5, I ain't gonna hold you. It's kind of cold in here. I haven't really used this car in a, yeah, in quite a bit now. You feel me? Uh, I've been using my other car. So, anyways, let me give you guys a pretty much a cold start. I hope it's cold, but yep, it's definitely gonna be. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this car, in case if you're new to my channel, this car has a resonated delete. So it definitely sounds different from a complete stock Audi RS5. But any person that gets a car, um, an Audi RS5, especially this gen, with a natural aspirated V8, definitely do a resonated delete. Like you can hear the bubbles a little bit. Um, definitely do a resonated delete. By you doing that, you're gonna enhance the, uh, the exhaust 100%. That's the cheapest way to go without getting an entire exhaust system. Now, if I was to keep this car a lot longer, I would definitely change the exhaust system. 100%. Love, do love, baby. Anyways, let me give you guys a couple reps. Just a little bit. The car hasn't heated up yet, but yeah. Anyways, let's get on with the video. Alright, you guys, so pretty much like I mentioned before. Um, so, right now we're at the parts store over here so what we're gonna be doing at the parts store we're gonna be getting one liter of oil which i already told you guys before i was supposed to get two but i decided to get only one because i'm gonna show you guys it once i'm inside uh what i like the level of the oil that i have so you guys can kind of know how to check your oil levels so you always want to check your oil levels if you don't have that electronically what you want to do is you check it manually um with the dipstick which i believe you should have a dipstick but anyways i'm gonna be showing you guys uh, electronically the level for you that I have so I'm gonna be going inside I already spoke with them over the phone as you already saw they spoke with them um, because especially with COVID time the last time I came here was about a month ago which I bought four actually about two months two three months ago which I bought four and I'm already done with the four a uh, little oil because of the way I drive you see me for, all the, for probably most of you guys it's probably gonna be different you probably be driving on comfort in comfort mode which hey that's that's up to you but i drive in sport mode so i burn more oil um so it's definitely up to you so i'm gonna go grab one within being because hopefully by next month i should be uh changing this car if not i'm just gonna just come back and then get another one the reason why i didn't want to buy like a five liter was because i don't with the one liter you kind of know exactly the proper amount of, of oil to pour in into your engine uh with the five liter you have to gauge you don't want to put too much you feel me well one liter is perfect but anyways let's get on let's go grab that 13.99 that's how much it costs canadian um i don't know in the states how much that's gonna be but you can get the same thing at the dealership for the same price you dig 
So let's open and then get that one. Alright. Yeah. Alright you guys, so I'm currently sitting in my car right now. So I do have the oil that I just purchased right now. So this one is the one liter. I think it's safer to just get just a single liter than getting the entire five um liter just so you put the right amount. Um if I'm wrong, let me know down in the comment, but I think it's safer this way. But you can get a five liter, um, which I believe it's way better than getting the single liter. But anyways, um, so this is the five, the one liter one. So use the five W forty uh, for your engine. Your engine. So it says right here for A three B fours. Um, but anyways, this is for Audis. Um, you always, I normally call the uh, call the uh, parts store just to get the right one. But if you go into the Audi dealership, um, they should know exactly what you need. So this is the one liter, um, castor oil. Okay, they just changed it. Before it used to be another another brand, but right now we are using this one. Now, as you can see, I have I have it here at my infotainment system. Now I'm going to show you exactly how to check for your oil um, levels. So what you want to do over here, you have these four different corners here and then you have this as your ok button as you can see over there you have four corners one two three and four that represent this one two three and four all right now what you want to do is you want to go to car settings which is car systems which is right there so you're going to push this one here so the one at the bottom all right so you push that now you use this toggle to like move left and right I already have it here on service uh service and checks so that's where you want to go not vehicle settings vehicle settings is something different so you go on service and checks then you push this button here you push it in for okay and there you go boom you have your oil levels now from there you're going to push okay again one more time now it shows you exactly um your oil levels so as you can see i mean i'm a little bit above the minimum so i'm not gonna pour this liter right now i'm just gonna let it go until it gets to the minimum or until i get the signs where it says so you're gonna get a signal over here saying um oil levels low as you can see the same sign that i have for my brake pads so that sign there is for my brake pads all right so over here it says oil level low uh, well right now it's not saying it right it's above minimum so we'll see good if I drive in sport or if I don't go crazy, especially right now, I'm not going to be driving that much of a craziness because of my front brake pads that they're not um, functional as they should be. So I'm very, I'm going to drive pretty safe. But if I get to go to where I have to go, then yeah, I'll push it. You feel me? Anyway, so that's how you check it. And then once you're done, once you top up the oil, um, you're going to just go back, which is over here. And then you push it again go back so you're not gonna see it right away when you top up your oil and it's like the sign the sign is gonna go away like the sign is gonna show over here it's gonna go away because you top it up however you have to drive for about two minutes before you can check your oil levels again so what I'm gonna be showing you guys pretty much is where you go top it up so I just showed you guys how to check it now I'm gonna show you guys where to go check it so this may vary you feel me so this applies just to this car um electronically i don't know how to check it on any other car so for my car if you do have an audi um this every audi infotainment system i believe it should be the same so this example is just for my audi you feel me um so i'm gonna go in the hood to show exactly where you're gonna have to pour the oil and then you feel me all right just so you know once you're sitting in your car or in this car in particular, you can't open the hood while you're sitting in the car. You have to unlock the door before you open the hood. It won't let you um, I, because the door is pretty much against the engine hood. So you definitely can't open the hood while you're sitting in the car. It's a very good safety measure. So that's a good safety. Just so you know. All right. So like I was saying before, this one is the one I already used. I just left it here just in case um, I go to a store and I'm looking for this and I don't remember what I need. I just have this as a reference point. So this one is the one that I just purchased just now and this one is the old one that I have. And this is the wrap of my car. And over here, these are the brake pads that I bought. Um, so they're the wrong ones. 
but when I check on uh, on the website that I got it from it was it specifically says Audi RS5 but clearly this year for Audi RS5 Audi RS5 I have um, four different um, parts pair tire or pair wheel you feel me so this one only has one each so you're definitely the wrong ones boom that's that and that's my detailing stuff and obviously winter my camera gear and then cleaning ah, ah, ah. yeah my trunk is a mess it's what it is you dig and with place up in the um in the hood and i'm gonna show you exactly what you need to pour this baby in all right so going straight to the point this is where you're gonna want to pour this oil um this is the engine obviously so you're gonna twist that and over there it clearly says castro i'm just gonna try to focus on it hopefully it works there we go so it says castro oil so you definitely need castro oil to do um the top up so you hit that engine sign there and yeah you put the castro oil in there uh, beside that this over here this is for your cooling and then coming right there that's your windshield washer so to top of your windshield washer i believe as you have some left you want to top of your windshield washer and then you do have over there i think that's to charge your battery in case um your battery dies i'm gonna try to get closer yeah so right there that's for your battery i've never um done it before so i hope i never do it to try to charge uh, my battery but beside that this is just the basic stuff that you need i don't have any dipstick so i'm you know what it's kind of hot right now and i don't want to get my hands dirty at the moment so you just have to twist this and then you top up the oil then you should be good this has no dipstick it's very straightforward it's all electronic wise and then there you go that's pretty pretty much all what it is as you can see yeah that's just a mess when you pour in the oil and the heat but beside that that's how you top up your oil any questions leave it down in the comment below right, you guys so if this video definitely helped you guys please make sure you hit that like button and make sure you subscribe for more and also let me know down in the comment what you guys want to see more whatever you have questions about and i'll try to help you guys if i can answer it down in the comment if you guys need visual i'm gonna uh, make a video about it and then help you guys with it you feel me so that's how you take care of your sport car always want to check the oil level because if not you're gonna blow up your engine you dig what i'm saying so stay safe uh, stay safe feel me and make sure you subscribe make sure you follow your man's on instagram you dig without that being said i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one Yellow.